Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics and in today's video we will learn all about capacitive soil moisture sensor version 1.2. So this is a soil moisture sensor that is better than a resistive soil moisture sensor. So first we will learn what are its parameters and how the sensor works and what is its construction. And in second what we will do is we will interface the soil moisture sensor with Arduino and display the soil moisture percentage in serial monitor. Similarly, we will display the same soil moisture percent in 16 crest to LCD display. And on the third case, we will use I2C OLED display to get the value of soil moisture in percent in OLED display. So without getting delayed, let's get started. So this is the capacitive soil moisture sensor V1.2 sent by one of the subscriber from the Russia. So unlike resistive sensor which has a corrosion effect and electrolysis effect, it doesn't have any metallic surface that corrodes it. So let's see the specification. It has 3 pin as you can see. The output is completely analog. It's operated between 3.3 to 5.5 volt and the output is from 0 to 3 volt. So the interface is PS 2.0 to 3P in size you can just see here. So now let's see what is at the top of the capacitive soil moisture sensor. So you can see there is an IC. The IC is triple five timer and it's generating a frequency around 37 kilohertz. I have just measured it and around you can see there are four capacitors that keeps flat DC and here you can see there is a diode and we have an RC filter with 10 kilo ohm resistor over here and then you can see at the top U2 it's a 3.3 volt regulator IC so whatever input you give to this module the output will be controlled by this voltage regulator IC. So here is the schematic of the complete soil moisture sensor. So there is a fixed frequency oscillator that is built using triple five timer IC. Now this triple five timer IC generates a square wave and it is fed to the capacitor. So a two way square wave signal that the capacitor has a certain reactance or for an argument sake a resistance that forms a voltage divider with a pulse ohm type resistor that is around 10 kilo ohm that I explained earlier. So the greater is the soil moisture the higher is the capacitance of the sensor. Consequently there is a small reactance to the square wave thus lowering the voltage of the signal. So the voltage of the analog pin can be measured by the analog pin of the Arduino which represents the humidity of the soil. As I already explained about the pin, so you can see this has analog output pin, VCC and a ground pin. So you will get a 3 pin connector that can be directly connected to this module. So simply I will connect it over here. Now let us interface this sensor with different module. So first we will be interfacing it with Arduino and measuring the soil moisture. So connect its analog pin to A0 of Arduino ground to ground and VCC pin to 3V3 or 5V. So this is how I have connected it to the Arduino as you can see here. Now let's see the program. So we have defined the two variables that is the maximum value as a year value and the minimum value of uh, as a water value that is analog value. And we have defined the two integers as soil moisture value and the percentage. Under the serial begin function, we initialize it with a baud rate of 9600. Now, the soil moisture value will be read by analog pin A0. And then using the serial print, we will print the value of soil moisture in analog. And then we will map the same analog value from 0 to 100%. So, basically, this 100% uh, is not as accurate as shown here. But you can do certain calibration regarding the air value and water value that can calibrate the module. So under three conditions uh, you can see uh, there are three conditions like soil moisture is greater than 100, soil moisture is greater than 0, it will show, show 0 or 100 percent. In case if the value is between 0 to 100 percent it will show the percentage value from 0 to 100 as shown here. So what we will do is we will simply select the required board that is our Arduino board and then we will simply upload this code to the Arduino Uno board. So once the coding is uploaded. So when you go to the serial monitor, you will see the percentage value as 1%, 2%. This is because the soil moisture sensor is not in the contact with water. So you can see here 612, 13, 14. Actually, these are the analog value which are used for 
calibration in your case the values may be different so just check your values what is your maximum values and what is your minimum value so now while dipping this sensor into complete water you will get the minimum analog value that is around 100 percent now remember this is the borderline do not dip this sensor below that so as soon as i have dipped so you can see the percentage is around 92 93 95 and the analog value is almost 330 so this is how you can simply measure the analog value digital value or convert it into percentage so now let's interface it with connecting an lcd so so in most sensor and arduino has the same connection but lcd has a different connection you can configure same to same as shown in the circuit diagram here so here you can see this is 16 to 2 lcd display and we have used a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to control the contrast of the lcd and then arduino and soil moisture sensor are connected the same way so here is a code uh, there is no more thing modification in the code except for the line it's instead of printing on serial monitor we are printing the same value on lcd display okay now let's upload the code so once the code is uploaded the LCD will start displaying the value of soil moisture. So currently it's displaying around 1%, 0% as it's completely dry. Now when I place the soil moisture inside the water, it will show that it around 80 to 90%. Uh, for showing it to 100%, it needs proper calibration that depends on the analog value that I already explained. Now I will use this sensor with the water plant. So simply I have inserted it on the bottom surface of the root of the plant. Now I will simply put the water into it. So you can see the soil moisture value has started rising. So this you can use to detect the moisture of soil and you can use it in smart irrigation system. So when the sensor is removed the moisture value goes to almost zero and when it's put back it starts rising again and again as the capacitance slowly increases. Now let's interface this sensor with the OLED display. Connection for the capacitive soil moisture sensor is the same, but we are using 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. So connect the, it to the I2C pin of Arduino. So we have connected the OLED display to the Arduino I2C pin that is A4 and A5. And currently uh, the code need to be uploaded. So the code is the same. Only the difference is OLED code has been added here and the calibration is the same so you can change if you want okay so what i will do is i will simply print the moisture value in oled display with a beautiful drawing so let's upload the code so once the code is uploaded so you can see the soil moisture is around 20 percent because i have placed the soil moisture on the water surface is wet now it has gone to zero okay and because it is completely dry now now I will do the same testing by putting this moisture sensor into water. So once it is put in water, the sensor value will start get rising. So you can see it has gone around 75, 80. So it has gone to almost 80%. Okay. Now you can use this sensor again with the smart irrigation system like putting into the plant. So this is the plant and uh, when you start putting the water, the soil moisture will start getting rising so currently it's getting higher and higher so it has reached around 51 54 so while adding the water the moisture has raised again so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you like this video